Hey y'all, how you doing? This is Gary Calger in uh, Enterprise, West Virginia. Uh, I've been building banjos and cigar box guitars for quite a little while now. And I've come up with this cool little banjo, three string banjo. And uh, been having a lot of fun with it. And uh, doing different things. Even been playing in church a little bit. But uh, it's a simple made uh, banjo. And it don't takes very little to make the thing. Matter of fact, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's a tack head banjo and with a fretted neck on it. And I don't know where you can see that uh, on there. I'll put a uh, West Virginia quarter on there with the New River Bridge on. But besides the fact of, you know, it, it's all made out of oak. And this is a uh, reused piece out of a dresser that come out of a fire. So it's a uh, reused material. Now the neck parts of it, I did buy that wood new. But the uh, frets on, the frets on are uh, what you, uh, you see the uh, gas company, water company, and places like that using these little marker flags. You see blue, white, and yellow, you know, stuff like that marker flag. Those are the wire of them, and they're glued into place on them. But uh, that's my frets on it there. But this this head on this head on is TP1 plastic. That is a pie top from the deli. Uh, it come from the deli, and uh, that material type plastic is heat shrinkable. So what I've done, I used a uh, a coffee can rim. And cut it down to size. I think I cut it to uh, three quarters of an inch height, and used the pie top, and then tacked it down first over it, you know, tightly. Then I used a heat gun and heated this head up, and I kept testing, testing until I got the right tension on it and everything. But uh, it's a really cool little guitar, you know, in uh, banjo. I mean, and uh, it, these are two pieces split right here. You can see the split in it where I use it to uh, pull the head and everything down onto it, tighten it up. But what I've done, I heated it up. I left a, about a sixteenth of an inch space between the two pieces before I tightened that, the head back down on it, then heated it up and got my tension on Then I took and uh, uh, tightened the head back down on, which it made it even tighter. And you, I mean, it, it, it sounds like a regular old drum on there. So it's a three stringer and it's tuned D A D. The uh, on it there. So I'll give you a little demonstration on what it sounds like right here. But it's really, uh, it's a three string. It's really cool to play with, have a lot of fun with, you know. And uh, of course, it's relaxing to me, you know. I'll be playing the thing there, but this is what it sounds like. <laughs> There you go. That's about a six inch rim on it. Close to six inch, I think it is. Tack head using recycled uh, pie top. 
and I put a string dampener out there so the strings don't cut into the uh, plastic. But uh, that's what it is right there. Simple construction, easy made. The neck goes all the way through and just got it notched, you know, in places here, you know. So it fits the rim. And I brought the uh, fretboard all the way down into the rim there. But uh, that's what it is, you know. Just like that. Got the tuning, you know, on the back there. Those are locking tuners, but I hardly ever lock them. I uh, put me some uh, shoelace on there so I can put my strap on when I go outside playing and stuff. Because I do walk up and down the street and play for people and stuff every now and then. But uh, that's what it is there. Three string. Easy made. Not very time consuming. You can come up with your own little niche and designs there for your... Uh, Tuner peg head there. Use different types of wood. Experiment with it a little bit. See what you can come up with. But that's what uh, I come up with. And it's very relaxing. Very relaxing. So that's what it is. Oh, and by the way, the strings that I used was strings from a dulcimer pack. Uh, that's the reason why I got a tune DAD, you know, dulcimer pack here. You can also put a cape on. It does real nice with a cape on, too, you know. All you can uh, put a cape on here and give you a little demonstration. Let's see here. I'll get here in about a B tune right there. And this is what it sounds like with a cape on. pretty good for capo on so so long for now god bless take care hope you had a happy thanksgiving three string banjo easy made also re really relaxing bye bye for now <laughs>